Shimano launched their first ever power meter back in July 2016. There had been a few rumours as to its existence before then, so it wasn't a total surprise, but there is still an element of mystery surrounding it because no one's really got their hands on it yet. Until now. Yeah, seriously, look, there it is. The Shimano R9100P. Fairly discreet little unit, isn't it? That tiny black box there transmits our power data and it also acts as a recharging port. But everything else is completely sealed internally. Even the battery, which lives in the crank spindle and needs charging up every 300 hours or so. And that sealing was apparently really important to Shimano when they set out to create this power meter. Reliability and robustness, along with accuracy, were absolutely top of their list of priorities. But when we say that everything is sealed inside, what exactly do we mean? What is everything? Well, there is both left and right hand crank measurements. So each crank houses strain gauges and then they're connected together via a wire running internally and also in the middle of that spindle where the battery lives as well. Now all in, the power meter adds just 70 grams to the standard Dura-Ace chain set. The R9100P transmits your power data via Ant Plus. It does have Bluetooth Smart already built in, actually, but that's currently just for firmware updates. And it's not a total surprise that Shimano have gone with Ant Plus as their primary transmitting protocol, seeing as their DR2 group set already uses Ant Plus to allow you to control your Garmin head unit, for example, remotely using extra shift buttons. But Although you do need a third-party head unit at the moment, Shimano aren't producing one, but they are currently producing a smartphone app apparently, so maybe that will take advantage of that Bluetooth connectivity. Exactly the way that they're collecting the data from your cranks, they're being a little bit cagey about. Apparently it's entirely their own technology. And so while they're not letting us see inside, we can glean one or two bits of information from the external side. We know there are left and right hand crank based strain gauges. You can see the little pads on the back of the cranks there. And we also know that there is a cadence sensor that very neatly fits just on the chainstay there. So no accelerometers presumably inside. What we do know is that Shimano have said that it's accurate to just plus or minus 2%. And that however they are collecting the data is unaffected by your choice of chain rings. So you're able to swap rings out without needing to send the unit back for a factory reset or any kind of recalibration. We could probably do that actually going out and collecting some data to have a look at then. So you'll forgive me if I just take the opportunity to uh, go for a little bike ride. But before we do, there is one process that needs to be performed before every ride, and that is to zero it. So you simply put the cranks in the six o'clock position and then push the little button on there until it flashes blue. There we go. Now, if you're familiar with power meters, you'll probably know how comforting this little pre-ride ritual is to ensure that actually zeroing your power meter gives you completely accurate data. Although if you haven't, I guess it might seem like a slight inconvenience. But believe me, it is something that you actually probably learn to enjoy. Well, here is the data from today's ride. Unfortunately, I haven't exactly broken any power records, but I'm pretty sure I can't blame the power meter for that. Or rather, I am sure that I cannot blame the power meter for that. But nevertheless, it is always enjoyable dissecting numbers post-ride, even if they're not very good, because at least then you know what you have to work on. Right, well, if you would like more information on the new Dura Ace group set, or indeed more tech full stop here on GCN, then your first port of call should be the Globe, because when you hit that, you will subscribe to the channel, and it is completely free, and we've got loads of cool videos coming up for you soon. But if you want more information on the Jury's group set now, then if you click just up there, you get to see our first look when it was released back in June 2016, and that includes this power meter. Or click just down there, and we've got a first ride of the electronic and hydraulic Dura Ace group set. That's just there.